Hi everyone, it's Teddy and Bambi's mom here. In this video, let me take you around the Viking Sea. Let's start from the first deck. In the forward is the spa and fitness area. I had an amazing facial there. I really appreciated how they didn't try to sell any spa product after the service. All guests have free access to spa area. They have thermal pools, sauna, cold water bucket, heated loungers, and the famous snow grotto. Unfortunately, the snow grotto was on maintenance when we took the photo, but the snow felt like fine shaped ice and it was so refreshing after hot sauna. Fitness center is small but well equipped. Next to us by reception desk is salon, where you can get hair, makeup, and nails done. Of course, from the salon is Vikings Library. Even though library itself is small, they have lots of books in different places. There are plenty of quiet areas with comfy chairs and blankets. In the midship is what they call the living room, which is main atrium area. The big screen features Nordic photographs and artworks. They also perform live entertainment throughout the cruise. In the living room, there's Viking Bar. All the non-alcoholic drinks, including specialty coffees, are complimentary. Moving on to F, there's Manfredi's Italian Restaurant, one of the complimentary specialty restaurants. If you haven't watched, watch our previous Viking Cruise videos for amazing food here. On the other side is the other specialty restaurant, the Chef's Table. The kitchen table is for a paid culinary shopping and dining excursion led by onboard chef. On deck two forward, there's theater where they feature nighttime singing and dancing shows. At the back of the theater, there are two cinemas. These are multifunctional rooms that can be open to theater or closed for films and lectures. This is where they have lectures by historians for upcoming destinations. I also liked how they provided blankets in cinemas. Shops are aligned just outside of the theater. They don't have that many stores, and you can get the usual cosmetics, watch, jewelry, and souvenirs. But you can get the Norwegian branded Fuel Raven products and stuffed toy fins, the Hagen's family golden retriever. Moving towards midship, Torshaven is where nightlife happens. They have dance floor and live music and performances. In the atrium, they have Viking heritage exhibitions where you can learn about history of Vikings. There's no separate game room or card room. Instead, you can play most of the popular games electronically on one of these touchscreen game tables. Towards aft, there's Viking's main dining room, the restaurant. Beer and wine are complimentary during lunch and dinner, and they are bottomless. From deck 3 to deck 6 are all staterooms. Viking ocean cruises don't have inside or ocean view cabins. All staterooms have verandas. I don't know if you can see in the photo, but all the cabin door handles and most of the railings were covered with leather, so they were smooth and warm to touch. I was so impressed to see that they use Dyson as their vacuum cleaner. On each deck, they also provide free self-serve laundry. Moving on to deck 7, at the bow is two-story explorer's lounge with panoramic view. Part of the lounge is Mamsons with cozy couches. Here you can try Norwegian gourmet sandwiches and waffles. In the midship, Winter Gardens is right at the middle. Here you can enjoy afternoon tea with live music every day. During that time, they opened the big glass panel doors to allow more people to join even in the pool area. Just outside of the Winter Garden by the windows is Lanai. You can have afternoon tea here as well. Continue from the Winter Garden, there's main pool with hot tub. Since it was January, it was too cold to open the roof, but it's retractable for hot sunny days. 
Beach towels are provided on deck chairs. On the screen, sometimes they play movies or shows, and they have live music or performances by the screen. Just behind the screen, there's pool grill, where you can get casual meals like burger or hot dog for lunch. Aft is World Cafe, Vikings Buffet, and they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The food selection was great, service was fantastic, and it was never crowded, so we actually never ate at the main dining room other than specialty restaurants. If you want to indulge yourself with more than just beer and wine, there's a full stocked bar inside. The other thing I loved about Board Cafe is that these entire glass panel doors can slide open and you can have al fresco experience. Right at the stern of the ship is Infinity Pool. Even though it was January, we had to try the pool and it was crazy. I've never felt such fridge cold water before. My body literally froze the second I dipped in and it didn't help that the entire pool was deep. I'm five feet four and I couldn't stand. Thank goodness there was hot tub. Next on deck eight, upper part of Explorer's Lounge continues forward. This is a spot where you get the best view on the ship. And there are more destination focused books here. Rest of the deck eight consists of penthouse suites and deck area. Middle part is the retractable roof above the main pool. There's outdoor seating area at the stern. Whether it's outside or inside, entire ship is non-smoking. Lastly, deck nine is sports deck and it's just at the bow of the ship. They have mini golf outdoor exercise equipment and seating areas around the deck. Also, it's where they have the plaque consists of ceremonial coins, which represent four generations of the Hagen family, the owner of the Viking cruises. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Viking Sea. If you did, please give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.